Let us now take the ninth model from this topic of permutations and combinations where again we shall discuss questions related to conditional combinations. That is we have to form a committee or a team following various conditions. Look at the first example here. In how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be chosen out of 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers such that the first bit here is there are 7 batsmen and the second one says there are 5 bowlers. So here we need to form a cricket team of 11 players out of 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers. So altogether we have a choice of 14 players 8 plus 6 14. But the condition says there must be 7 batsmen in the team. And the second condition here is there are 5 bowlers in the team. Now going by the condition here if we want 7 batsmen the total choice that we have is of 8 batsmen. So out of 8 we need to select 7. So that can be done in 8c 7 ways. And after selecting 7 batsmen it is obvious that the remaining 4 players have to be bowlers. But because total there are 11 players in the team. Already 7 have been selected. Remaining 4 have to be bowlers. Total we have got 6 bowlers here. So out of 6 we need to select 4. So 8c7 into 6c4 is the answer for the first bit. Similarly, the second bit here is there are 5 bowlers. So when we have 5 bowlers in a team of 11 players, it is obvious that remaining 6 have to be batsmen. So 5 bowlers out of 6 can be done in 6c5 ways and then remaining 6 players have to be batsmen. Total we have got 8 batsmen. So that can be taken as 8c6. So these are the number of ways in which a team of 11 players can be selected where there are 5 bowlers. Let us now take the second example from model 9. In how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be chosen out of 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers such that the first bit here is the majority is of batsmen and second bit here is such that there are not more than 5 bowlers in the team. Let us first look at the first condition here. The question becomes in how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be chosen out of 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers such that the majority is of batsmen. Now we know that here we are making a team of 11 players. Out of these 11 players, majority have to be batsmen. That means the minimum majority that we can get out of a team of 11 would be 6. That means if there are 6 batsmen and 5 bowlers, we find that more number of batsmen are there in the team. Likewise, there can be more than 6 batsmen as well. For example, if there are 7 batsmen and 4 bowlers, still the majority is of batsmen. 8 batsmen, 3 bowlers, again majority is of batsmen. So likewise, we need to consider all those cases where the majority is of batsmen. Now if we try to understand, there can be 6 batsmen and 5 bowlers or there can be 7 batsmen and 4 bowlers or there can be 8 batsmen and remaining 3 are bowlers. Remember, we cannot go for more than 8 batsmen here. Why? Because total what we have here is only 8 batsmen. So simply by finding out the number of ways of choosing these type of teams and adding all of them. Why? Because as we have discussed earlier, or means plus. These are different cases. So we need to add the number of uh, ways of doing each one of them. So by adding all of these, we get the required answer. Now, 6 batsmen and 5 bowlers can be done in 8c6 into 6c5. Why? Because there are total 8 batsmen, we need to select 6 and total 6 bowlers, we need to select 5. So 8c6 into 6c5 plus 7 batsmen out of 8 can be done in 8c7 into 4 bowlers out of 6 that is 6c4 and finally 8 batsmen or 3 bowlers. 8 batsmen can be selected out of 8 in 8c8 ways into 3 bowlers out of 6 can be done in 6c3 ways. And as I mentioned, we cannot go for more than 8 batsmen. Why? Because total what we have here is only 8 batsmen. So we can say that this is the answer for the first condition. That is the majority is of batsmen. Let us now look at the second bit here. That is, there are not more than 5 bowlers. So we need to form a cricket team of 11 players out of 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers such that there are not more than 5 bowlers. Not more than 5 bowlers. So there can be 5 bowlers or less than 5 bowlers that, but there should not be more than 5 bowlers. So we can say that here the condition says maximum there have to be 5 bowlers in the team. Minimum can be 0 but maximum has to be 5 bowlers. We cannot have more than 5 bowlers. So going by this maximum bowlers condition we can say that there can be 5 bowlers and remaining 6 are batsmen or we can have less than 5 as well. There can be 4 bowlers and remaining 7 are batsmen or there can be 3 bowlers, remaining 8 are batsmen 
and likewise we can go for two bowlers as well why because maximum it says there must be five bowlers minimum can be zero so we can also have two bowlers but when there are two bowlers there should be nine batsmen why because team is to be of 11 players so two bowlers means there should be nine batsmen in the team and total what we have here is only eight batsmen so that is the reason we need to stop at this point itself so now by selecting these type of players and adding all of them we get the required answer so five bowlers out of six can be done in six c five into six batsmen out of eight eight c six or is plus four bowlers can be taken in six c four ways into seven batsmen eight c seven or again is plus three bowlers can be done in six c three into eight batsmen out of eight can be done in eight c eight ways so this is the answer for the given question now one other way of solving the question here would be the question says there should be maximum five bowlers minimum can be any number of bowlers but maximum has to be five we find that total there are six bowlers available so instead of solving each one of them separately and then adding all of them what we can do is from the total number of teams that can be formed if we subtract those teams where there are more than five bowlers we get the required answer why right? because question says maximum five bowlers so maximum can be five we should not have more than five for example the total number of teams that can be formed here is 8 plus 6 14 players we need 11 players so total is nothing but 14 c 11 these are the total number of teams that can be formed or these are the number of ways in which a team of 11 players can be formed out of 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers now out of this total number of teams that can be formed if we subtract those teams where there are more than 5 bowlers we get the required answer why because maximum is 5 bowlers here so if we subtract those cases where we have more than five bowlers we get the required answer now here all together we have got six bowlers so more than five bowlers is only one case that is six bowlers so from 14 c 11 we subtract that number of cases where we have six bowlers in the team so six bowlers means it is six c six ways and remaining have to be batsmen already six bowlers have been selected so remaining five have to be batsmen that can be done in eight c five ways so this is the other way of solving the question let us now look at the next example from model 9. In how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be chosen out of 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers such that two particular batsmen are always included and one particular bowler is always excluded. Now this is a completely different question which says two of the batsmen out of total 8 are always there in the team and one of the bowlers out of the 6 bowlers is never con uh, included in the team. Let us see how to solve these type of questions. Now we know that there are total 8 batsmen available and 6 bowlers available. So 8 batsmen and 6 bowlers. Out of these 14 players, we need to form a team of 11 players. But as the question says, two particular batsmen are always included. That means out of these 8 batsmen, there are two such batsmen who are always included in the team. That means we are now left out with only 6 more batsmen. Our choice is only 6 more batsmen. Likewise, out of six bowler, one particular bowler is always excluded. That means that particular bowler should never be selected. So again, out of six bowler, if one is gone, our choice is only five more bowlers. That means now we have effectively six batsmen and five bowlers. And we need to form a team of 11 players. But remember, two of the batsmen are already there in the team of 11. They are always included. That means now we need to select only nine more players. Why? Because already two of the batsmen are there in our team. So instead of 11, we now need only nine players. And one bowler is anyway excluded. So we need not worry about that. So two batsmen are already there and nine more players are required. Those nine players have to be chosen only from these six batsmen and five bowlers. Six plus five total, we have 11 players. So out of these 11 players, we now need to select nine players. That can be done. See, this is total 11 players. And we now need to form a team of only 9 players. So that can be done in 11c 9 ways. 11c 9 is nothing but 11 factorial divided by 11 minus 9. 2 factorial into 9 factorial. So this will be equal to 11 into 10 divided by 2. Why? Because 9 factorial, 9 factorial gets cancelled and 2 factorial is 2. So this goes 5 times and we can say the answer is 55. That means there are 55 ways in which a cricket team of 11 players can be selected given this condition. That is two batsmen are always there and one particular bowler is never there.